she can't walk. I have to do everything for her. Only thing she can do for herself is face. I'm Tanya Miller, mother of Shamara Fraser. She is 12 years old. She has cerebral palsy. Her speech not clear. She attends Hope Valley Experimental School and she's in class six. Sorry. Great six. Yes. She can't walk. I have to do everything for her. Only thing she can do for herself is face. Explain, explain that process for us. Um, whatever time you talk to her, she tends to telling you what she wants to tell you or to do what she wants to do. No, she said me not to talk. <laughs> <laughs> not to talk anything about her. So you understood that how I Yeah, because she shake her head, look up in my face and shake some of her say. Don't? <laughs> yeah. She said not to say that. <laughs> yes. This bone keep on sticking out. Here and here. The accident was cutting off from her during labor. So she cannot stand by herself. She cannot not talk by herself. Talk, walk, nothing. Mm -hmm. Right? So I have to do everything for her. Explain what happened when she was born, right? When, when she birth, came into the world, they realized that yeah, the she, oxygen, lacked, she lacked oxygen. oxygen and and then what happened? They give her oxygen and she go to the, what you call it now, the nursery. She was there for 10 days. One of the morning when I went there, they said that my little baby very sick, you know, she very sick. She has a seizure. So after the seizure, she was there, they said me to bust her, we should do some scan and other things. Well, I do that. But it's it not getting any better. She keep on having this seizure. She would sleep all day. And we now realize that is a seizure she has. So one day in particular she has. She was sleeping. I leave in the morning about 8 o'clock or before 8. When I come back like 2.30, 3 o'clock, she was still sleeping. So I said to her father, I said, you don't give her the feed? And he said, no, because she don't wake. So I said, you know, wake her and feed her and put her back. He said, he never knows, so he don't do it. After that, she go to school, go on an road, basic school. One morning, I take her to school. And when I go back, beyond 1.30, 2 o'clock, the teacher said, she has been sleeping all day, so she don't eat. So I said, but miss, me just live one street from the school, and you don't call. She said, she didn't know how serious it, it is, so she just, so when I come, I put her under the pipe because I know she afraid of water in her head. Put her under the pipe and she didn't respond. So them children run out of the road and start crying. So she, she did. Me still never give up. Me run to South Camp Road and one vehicle come and pick me up and carry go. Children and we did it, did it. Till the doctor pump her heart, she vomit up some something and she come back. But she keep on having this seizure and we now realize say it's seizure till the day she attends school and teacher say she has been sleeping all day. So she never wake till about six o'clock the evening. After them do what they made a do for children and wake her up out of the coma. But she keep on having seizure because up to since the corona year she have it a couple of times. So it bring her back. Instead, she come one foot forward. She can't sit up now again. Her body have to be reprogramming back to sit up because the seizure each time depends on how long she have the seizure. The seizure set her back. How does that make you feel? How stressful but is that for very you? Very much, very much, sorry, very much. Sometimes I feel like give up. Sometimes I don't feel like go any further, but. I done my own, so I carry my cross, because that is my cross for me, get, so. The Optimist Club run by Pitching Street there. St. Matthews. St. Matthews. She
she used to go at the reading class as well and Royina. That was before? No, during during her seizures part year because I tell you say she have CP right after birth mm -hmm. there. So within our twelve years she always attended the reading class around there. Right. Mm -hmm. So I used What's her to, reading though? Yeah man, she can't help herself. She attend class, you know. I write for her and 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 thing like that at school. Me is our shadow. Okay. Yes, I went to school with her and she's our shadow. So so, so explain for us how it works, right? How do you know? Say for instance you ask a question. Ask her a, a, a question like three and two is five or some something. She can respond to it. Can you demonstrate? Can you give me an idea, please? Spell that spell the name for Spell the next one. F Fraser. So she can't spell her full name, Shamara Fraser. Hi Shamara. <laughs> so she need a, a, a device to help her with her speech that whenever time she talk, that device may make you understand what she really saying because sometimes what she's saying really don't do add up. Mm -hmm. You have to use to her to understand what she's saying. Yes. Like the teacher asks her a certain question. Or say for instance she in the class. And teacher asks question and asks everybody and don't ask she. She shout at the teacher. Because no. you ask everybody mm -hmm. and you don't know, ask she. You need to ask yeah, she. Strong. She's a part of the class. Mm -hmm. The Optimist Club endeavors to assist kids like tomorrow. And so that is why we are here today pleading for assistance for tomorrow. As you know, we are all about bringing out the best in kids. And so we really want to bring out the best in Shamara and her family so that she she can continue her education and so that the device that her mother is asking for, she will be able to get that device. So we can clearly hear when she speaks so that when she goes back to school, her teachers and her friends can really understand when she speaks. Yeah, the most is them in our back week. So our head can't stay up. Mm -hmm. Most of them in our body. The, the pan the back kind of mm -hmm. all right, but the most of them on the front here. Mm -hmm. Very much weak. Uh, how Christmas is looking for, for the family? Well, you know, it's not Christmas yet still, you know, but we're not give up hope. Mm -hmm. Now give up hope. What do you mean when you say that? Yeah, it's in a like yeah. food stuff and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I do a lot um like a sewing and the, the sewing not turn up yet. Like taking in the people and clothes and such like that. So is it because because of COVID nobody is planning to go anywhere it don't so nobody it, it don't look come that to... way. It don't look that way. It look like through the COVID nobody in a party, nothing like that. So things scale down. Mm -hmm. So now and then somebody come and another time, you know, see nobody so. We just are going to hold on with this with the flow to wear pampers. Okay, so she pampers. did out yeah, she did out of the pampers but each time that she get the seizures like like um she have to go back in a hit. Cause by the time she talks that she want PPR do it's Not done. Already. It's done already but normally at one time she need not wear pampers. So as we go to school, she, she would not talk. So but okay. you need some right now, just yeah. Yeah. Most of all, you know, Shamara, I really want to feel that she couldn't even stand up or walk or something, you know. Because it, she, she getting bigger and heavier, right, and to lift her up at this stage, because as you see, she almost all like me. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's very difficult. She has a wheelchair. It's very difficult to lift her up. They say she's at risk, so they don't accept her down at eight feet. She's 12 now, so she don't go to mm -hmm. children anymore, so it's KPH. So they all they say, we to go home back and give her our medication. Okay. Because they can't keep her. So right. my biggest problem is 
mostly she's that one doctor can assist her with them chat oh gosh these bone we are stick out